Living in three dimensions is special. If we didn't, there'd be no atoms, there'd be no solar systems. And that means no us, no anything, really. And we have Joseph Louis Frank Hoy's Bertrand to thank for this knowledge. To see why this has to be true, imagine a universe with, say, a hundred dimensions. What might such a place look like? Well, if it's going to have any laws of physics even conceptually similar to ours, then there should be an equivalent of Newton's law of gravity, an equivalent of Maxwell's equations, etc. Indeed, such laws should tell us that just like the forces in our 3D world decrease with the square of the distance, in this 100D world, the forces should decrease with the 99th power of the distance. And that's going to be key. The question we need to answer then is this. Can stable structures form with these force-distance relationships that differ from inverse square laws? The answer is a resounding no, and that's Bertrand's theorem. The first thing that you have to know is that any force that points towards some central point, like the gravity of a star, can lead to circular motion. This is pretty intuitive. The strength of the force only affects how fast you need to travel to maintain that motion. The real question is whether or not these orbits are stable. What Bertrand showed using a simple type of perturbative expansion is that even though perfectly circular orbits may exist for any attractive central force, stability is lost unless that central force either increases or decreases with the square of the distance. One can also obtain this result by examining the shape of the effective potential functions. It's only for squared distance laws that the effective potential has a minimum, and that means that states can roll around and not fall out of the bound state. In all other cases, there are no minima. And intuitively, we can come to the same conclusion by noting that if the force decreases faster than the square of the distance, then the force is much stronger near the attractive center. So if the orbiting object gets knocked a little bit closer to the center, the centrifugal force is just not strong enough to keep the orbiting object from falling in. On the flip side, if the orbiting object gets knocked just a little bit further away, the force is much weaker than the centrifugal force, and so the object gets flung far away. It's only for inverse square laws where you hit that sweet spot of getting stronger than the centrifugal force far away and getting weaker closer in. So what this all means is that any universe that doesn't have exactly three dimensions won't be able to form stable orbits. And that means atoms can't form, as this result generalizes to the quantum case, and planets can't form around stars. And that means no us.